What's up, Andy Gregg? Guts Racing, Hangtown. What's up, ladies? What's up, dude? Devin Simonson here at the Moto X Rod Show at Hangtown. I'm just gonna ask you some random questions. Do you believe in aliens? No. No. Why not? I mean, I don't really have like I guess a good answer. Just, just don't believe in them. All right. What about ghosts? I don't necessarily believe in ghosts. I believe in like paranormal activity. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. There could be something there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, best concert you've ever been to? Never even been to a concert. Oh my God! With that hair? Come on, man. Never been to one. Not even one. Do you like me? Are you into music? Yeah, I like I listen to rap music. Okay, music. not enough to really go to a concert though. Nah, no, not, not really my type of thing. I guess. Okay, fair enough. If you had to choose to lose a sense of either taste or smell, which one do you go with? Smell. Yeah, me too. I like to eat. That's what I was gonna say. I like, I like <laughs> food taste. All right, when you're out on the track, who's somebody you really would love to T-bone? Yeah, just somebody in particular. Honestly, every single one for every single every single person out there. Everyone. Everyone. All right, I like that's a great answer. Because they all will T-bone me, so <laughs> T-bone every single one of them back. All right, do you have a like your worst travel story? Have you had a really bad one, bad flight, anything like that? Uh, I think it was out in Salt Lake City. I had a little bumpy flight. It wasn't that's it. Yeah. No, like really. privateer life in a van breakdown in the middle of nowhere. No, luckily my parents kept me pretty. Had a pretty good vehicle. Okay. So. No bad road stories. Um, let's see here. What's the dumbest thing you've ever bought? Bought. Uh, probably an Xbox game. Like that's up too much of my time. That's not, okay. Uh, uh, there's a good reason it could be dumb. Okay. Do uh, you got any tattoos? No, I don't. Do you want tattoos? Maybe one. I don't know. Any any idea what you'd want or not? You just. No, no. Not, not yet. Me. Okay. Last question. Uh, Hashtags. I'm, I'm old, right? But hashtags yeah. is a big thing. What would your hashtag be for your life? My life. Yeah. Hashtag ballin. Hashtag, you know, I don't living. know. Like A Ray's obviously living. hashtag sketchy. Yeah. Yours is living. Yeah. Living. Hashtag living. living. The best life I can, man. All right. Well, you just told me a minute. I told you we weren't going to really talk about riding, but you told yeah. me this is your first time here. Yep. You just went around the track. You're talking about how big the facility is. Yep. How do you feel about just, I mean, how excited are you to ride here for the first yeah, time? Uh, last weekend, uh, my Fox Racer or was the first time uh, yeah. even riding in California. That went pretty well. The track looks a little better, the dirt looks a little better, so I'm excited to get out there. Nice. Well, like I told you before we started recording, killed it in fantasy points in the yeah. first moto yesterday, yeah. or last week. Yeah. Second moto wasn't as good, but yeah, I think we were just talking, explaining to you a little bit about how fantasy works, so yeah. people probably will start coming by and saying, hey, I picked you in fantasy. <laughs> Just yeah. give them the love, man. Pulp yeah, Mex. Sure. Yeah, so they're, they're picking you. That's cool. Yeah, try to get it done for you guys in Pulp Mex. There you go, man. All right, thanks, dude. Yep. All right, Mitch Payton. So 21 season is about to come to an end. I really want to just ask you about Joe Shimoda. Kind of a surprise to a lot of us. You must have seen something in him. Kids been improving every week through Supercross and outdoors and never seems to give up. What, what can you tell us about him and why you picked him? Um... Well, he rode last year, you know, he, I think that was his first year and yep. he had a couple of decent results in the season. So like that was worth looking at and we thought we needed to get another guy. Um, so we tried a couple guys out and we went to the Supercross track and we watched them all ride and we thought that the speed was good. Um, he was comfortable immediately on the bike and the other thing is the things that he did fairly effortless like it wasn't like he was hanging off the back of it or riding over his head so like he needed a guy and he said I think he was the right pick. Yeah I think most of us would agree with that he's really come through and he's a good kid I, I really like that guy a lot. All right I'm gonna ask you some non-moto stuff. Yeah. Um, I've heard stories uh, you know on Whiskey Throttle and on Pulp with you and the you know things that you've been through with Troy Lee and what's the worst trouble you've ever been in? With Troy? Just in general in life well we went to jail one night <laughs> that was it like then you guys steal some grass or something yeah yeah we, was that it yeah that that was probably the gnarliest one okay we stole some grass at a marine calendar's restaurant yeah cop showed up yeah that's not ever good all right um 
What's the best concert you've ever been to? Are you a concert guy? Nah, I don't go to concerts. I, actually, you know what, truthfully, probably not as popular as everybody wants me to, but I, I've been to two Willie Nelson concerts. Dude, that's a good show. Willie is insane. Yeah. I mean, I live in Texas, so a lot of my friends go down to his place. That I think it's Luke and Bach, or his, yep. he does every year. So yeah. But he's he's a great entertainer, and yep. then, like you hear a lot of songs that you remember, but then also he sings a lot of songs that he just wrote, also. Right. So he's a pretty naughty guy. Absolutely, that's cool. That's a good story, man. What's the dumbest thing you've ever bought? The race team. <laughs> no, I like yeah, this is good. Dumbest thing. I buy dumb stuff all the time. Yeah. Well, give me one. Uh, so you may be like, ah, why'd I do that? Anything that's as seen on TV, I think it's funny. Okay. I think it's just hilarious because they make it sound like it's a miracle. Yeah. And then I've like bought a, a bolt extractor kit as seen on TV and brought it to the shop. Check these out. These are awesome. Yeah. And of course they tried them and they suck. Of course. That's great. All right. Uh, if you were to lose one of these two senses, which one would you pick? Taste or smell? I think that's pretty gonna be pretty common because I, I like to eat. I think most people like to eat. So, yeah. all right, that's it, man. Just appreciate right. you answer a few questions. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Me. All right, so Mitch, you have a uh, a good Steve Mathis story. Yeah, there was a. I think it might have been in Orlando. Uh, Chad Reed went out on a parade lap, and he came back, and there was something wrong with his bike, and it was a base lap was loose and so I think Mathis and I can't remember there's two of them they were all over it trying to figure it out or whatever and they did figure it out but I was up in the stands and then I saw Jimmy Perry later and I said who's that really big guy why was Pat helping on the because Pat's a truck driver yeah yeah and I said who's Pat working on Chad's bike and he started laughing <laughs> and it was Mathis oh wow Maybe that's what kind of got the motivation to. He's lost a lot of weight. He's, he has. He looks yeah. a lot better. He's, he busted his butt. Yeah. Thing. Have you? Did you hear what happened last week with his bike? He loaned his personal Yamaha to Jace Kessler. My Parabino's wrenched on it when they. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So the shock bolt was about to fall out, like literally about to fall out. There was bolts in the subframe missing. Like Parabino said, it was a nightmare. Just like it, I, he said, one more lap and the, the shock would have come through the top of the bike. It, you know, it was bad, like no joke. And Steve's like, yeah. Paul, yeah. Paul probably should have not involved in it before he wrote it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I don't think he actually wrote it. I think he just meant if Steve had taken another lap on it personally, oh, yeah. that would have happened. Yeah, I think he did go through it before Jace he wrote it. Caught everything. Yeah, yeah, but it was in pretty bad shape. So, you know, the next time Steve says, "Hey, bring on Amar," you know, I'll come wrench. You, you don't need Mathis under your tent touching anything. No. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. All right, Jericho. Um, see, are we are we living in a simulation, or is this real life? Uh, nothing is real. Nothing is real. Okay, I like it. This, do you believe in ghosts? Mm, depends on a lot of the noises. Yeah, so, I mean, you've never had like an experience where like, oh, that was a little sketchy. Not really, no. What about aliens? There's gotta be. I fully believe in aliens. It's way too big a universe to not be. Okay, you're on board with me so far. Uh -huh. Are straws for girls? Straws? Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes 100%. Unless you're driving and need a lid, I'm okay with it. But in a restaurant? Yeah, like but if you're having a cocktail or something. Yeah. Like, We're just even like no, at the sorry. restaurant and they bring you a glass uh, of Coke and you're like, you want a straw? Paper straw, I'll throw it right back at them. Okay. Just throw it back at them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know, sometimes. It just depends. All right, Unless man. I don't know. I think. Good. All right. Rocky or Rambo? Rocky. Okay. If you had to lose a sense, taste or smell, I already don't have a sense of smell. Okay. I'm like Dewey Cox. <laughs> uh, give me some words of wisdom that you live by. Uh, get up and go to work. It's easy enough. Easy enough. Dumbest thing you've ever bought. Uh, peanuts title. <laughs> yeah. Let's go look at that real quick. Oh, uh, look at that. It's hard to see with the glare. Yeah, that's a dumbest thing. Okay. All right, last one. Last one. Hashtags are big. For this generation what's your hashtag for life get up go to work fea what is fea Fuck them all. okay all right i dig it all right jericho how are we gonna do tomorrow oh uh, christian gonna get on the podium yeah p1 p1 I, yeah. that's it all right stamp it all right bogle you think we're living in a simulation or is this real life i feel like sometimes i start to question yeah 
because there's no way all this can be real, dude. Some of this stuff is going on. It seems too crazy to be real. But at the same time, you know what? But then whose simulation is it? Life is crazy, though. That's the thing. Yeah. So, I think human beings are too smart for their own good, and we all just create scenarios in our own head, and we all think we're more important than we are. So the fact that we think this is a simulation and not God is just crazy. Because, right. Come on now. There's yeah. no way. I think people are just, I think God is great, beer is good, people are crazy. You feel me? I think that's what I it feel is. You. So, I feel you. I feel you. This ain't no simulation. Okay. That wouldn't make no sense. All right, all right, I like it. Um, driving etiquette, man. When somebody is driving the speed limit or less in the left hand lane, how should they be punished? The passing lane. Yeah, no, it's a passing lane. You definitely shouldn't do that. The thing is, is I do that sometimes. Oh, God. Not on purpose. I drive really fast, but sometimes I catch myself zoned out, not paying attention. So, you almost want to give people the benefit of the doubt, unless you're in a hurry. Yeah. That all goes out the window. I'm not having any compassion at that point. So, okay. you gotta, I mean, honestly, we don't want to cause harm to anybody. Yeah. But, it should be illegal to drive slow in the left lane, obviously. I agree 100%. All right. If you're chilling out on a Friday night, by yourself or with a chick? Okay. Horror movie or romantic comedy? Rom-com, all day. All day. Horror movies, honestly. Not your jam? Only watching a horror movie if I'm trying to prove I'm tough. Because <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it. Who just wants to be scared for no reason? Dude, my stepdaughters are obsessed. 13 and 11, and they're going through like the old school stuff, like Friday the 13th, but also all the new stuff, like Annabelle or whatever, and they love it. At that age, I would have I would have been down to watch that stuff. Okay. Strictly to prove I was tough, not because I wanted right. to. Right. You know, like one of my favorite stories of all time is me and Cole went to this girl's birthday party when we were in middle school, and he refused to watch. We watched the Amityville Horror. Yeah. The original. Me, it messed me up. Dude. Yeah. I was young. Messed me up. And Cole sat behind the couch and didn't watch it. <laughs> so at the time we were like, "You're being a chump," but now I'm like, maybe he was just smarter. Ahead of the game. Smarter than us. Okay. <laughs> Um, you ever been in a bad auto accident? Knock on wood, I have not. I've been in a few crashes, but nothing too bad. Fender bender type stuff? Fender bender stuff. Okay. Any tattoos? Um, one, but I can't disclose. <laughs> uh, what's the dumbest thing you've ever bought? Dumbest thing I've ever bought? Yeah. Well, dude, I don't make much money, so honestly, <laughs> most purchases that I make are pretty stupid. Okay. Because I don't need it. Um, I probably spent way too much on a pair of shoes than I needed to. Yeah, you're out, dude. Mathis would definitely say yeah. you're, you're close. One time when I was doing all the walk-in fits, I spent like a grip on this sweatsuit and I wore it one time. Okay, I'm old, like Mathis, what is a grip? A lot. Okay. <laughs> a grip of cash, baby. We're talking more than I should have. All right, all right, thanks, Bogle. Cody Shock, all right, we're at Hangtown. I'm not even talking about racing. Everybody's been talking about your racing. It's been a killer year so far. What I want to know, do you think we're living in a simulation, or is this real life? Uh, I'd probably say real life. Okay. In a way. Do you believe in aliens? Uh, yeah, there's definitely something out there. I'll All right. You, I'll tell you that. I 100% agree. Yeah. Uh, straws. When you're at the dinner table, not when you're driving, and they give you a glass of Coke or tea or whatever, straws for chicks only, or do no. you, you drink out of a straw? Okay, I'm not on, I'm not on board on that one. Yeah. The thing is, you ever look at the glass? Yeah. And see how dirty it looks? Oh, okay. That's me. Like, okay. Like, okay, the inside. Yeah. Might be clean. Never crossed my mind. I... Outside, never know. So. All right. Good point. Might have changed my mind. Might have changed my mind. Science. How I see it. Okay. <laughs> it's just a good way. That's a good way to look at it. Especially when you go to those Mexican re restaurants and it's like the Pepsi oh, cola yeah. Yeah. like thing and it's like red. Like you don't know if it's actually clean or not. <laughs> It's not, it's not a clear that's, glass. It's very common it's in plastic. East Texas where I'm at. You're yeah. 100, okay. Damn. I might have to use a straw from now on. This is me. Speed limits. Um, you drive down the interstate, somebody's going the speed limit or less in the left-hand lane. What should their punishment be? They need to go back to driving school. They need to look at the book and say, wow, it's the passing lane. Exactly. Yeah, get out of the way. Okay. Get out of the way. I like it. Are you a music guy? Have you ever been to a yeah. concert? I may have asked you this on the show. I asked somebody. Uh, I've only ever been to two. So what were they? Uh, the band Movements was in both of them. Okay. Uh, the one that I went to recently with my buddy, uh, Connor Olson. Yeah, I know Connor. And Cam Peterson. Yeah. Um, we, it was called Sad Summer Fest. It was like uh, 
the story so far, and movement, and then, um, there's, there's others, but okay, yeah, nothing fine. crazy, nothing crazy. But, but still, concerts are cool. I love yeah. live music. Yeah. I just was texting with Connor a little bit ago. That's cool. Um, movies, man. So, you're sitting home Friday night, you want a horror movie or a romantic comedy? I'm more of the comedy, not the romantic comedy. The A-com, like, okay. Well, I, I was comedy. giving you those two choices, because horror, like a lot of people, like, Bogle just said, like, I'm scared to watch horror movies, so yeah. he's going rom-com. I mean, but rom-coms are kind of chick movies, so you gotta pick. On my flight here, I was watching It. That's a good one. But It too, and the second one, I, yeah. I, 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 told, I didn't even know it was out. Oh, yeah. I'm terrible at movies. Oh, okay. Like. I'm a huge Stephen King guy, so like I was there on open at night and shit. My mom used to read all his books. I own every book he's ever wrote yeah. on hardback. I actually, on the plane flight here, I'm reading the new book, so I'm a huge... Books are better than movies, I, what I've been told, but I wouldn't know because I like <laughs> <read> pictures, so... <laughs> okay, alright, couple more. Um, what's your worst travel story? Whether it be in a, you know, maybe you're in a... Oh, okay. Alright, okay. let's go. So, I was asked to go race over the Dominican Republic. Yep. And this was my second time out of the three times I've been there. And we literally showed up to this place where it was like, it's got owners, grandparents, mansion that was built back in like 192. Yeah. And it was like 1950, I'm just saying. I got it, it's old, it's old. It was old. And my girlfriend and I, and I at the time, um, and that's just my ex girlfriend. Yeah. We were laying in bed and I literally saw Spider come down onto the bed sheets, and I was like, no shot. And I looked over, and like there was like rat like on the sheets. Like, we got in oh, the night, and then yeah. we like we like we turned on our flashlights on our phone. We're like, what is going on? And then we actually like evaluated the place a little bit more because it didn't have electricity. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. And there was like a hole in the wall. And like the shower, it wasn't even a shower, it had a tube coming out, <laughs> and there's no running water, and we're just like... This is not good. This is not good. Like, we need to get into a better situation, so I, I called my buddy that was from the Dominican, that was, wasn't able to come with me. Yeah. And he was still in New Jersey at the time, and I was like, hey, can you set us up with a better place? And he made a few phone calls, and he got us out of there. But... That's gnarly. I was, I was scared. Yeah, I bet. That's way worse than I expected. Yeah. Okay, what is the dumbest thing you've ever bought? Something just blew money on and afterwards you're like, why did I do that? Huh. I honestly, I, 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 I don't know. Okay. I that's, don't. Well, nothing. I mean, there, there's, you know, there's, there's moments when you're in like a Walmart and like, you see like a hat and glasses combo. Yeah. Yeah, I wore it for five minutes and then I'm done with it. So like that type of stuff I'm all about. It's like, okay. oh, 10 bucks? It's a deal. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah it doesn't have to be a lot deal, of If it's a deal, you gotta get You're it. You're in. That's okay. how I feel. If it's a deal, you gotta get it. You know why? Because it's a deal. It's a deal. That's why, <laughs> exactly. All right, Cody, appreciate it, man. We, I feel like your answers with these would be good. So, do you feel like we're living in a simulation, or is this real life? In reality? Yeah, right now is this in reality, or is this perception? No, you're, you're. What do you feel this life is? Is it a computer program? Are you? My perception of the reality is it real or is it simulation? Yes. Uh, I've already been here. I've been here so many times. It feels like a darn simulation. I can tell you that. Okay, it probably is then. Yeah. I, I know your answer to all. Do you yeah. believe in aliens? Heck no, I don't believe in aliens. <laughs> okay. Um, being kids in this generation, do you think it's a better life than, than when we were kids? Oh, you're a little younger than me, but you know, but, or like, I know they have more conveniences, but are they living a better life than we did? Uh, they are living a better life because in just like 20 years, like economically, like we can do more stuff. Like it's like, okay, how many activities can we reasonably drive you to where my parents were like, oh, we can't afford that, 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 or that, and I'm working, so you can't do any of that. Okay. Yeah. All right, Rocky or Rambo? Rocky. All right. Words of wisdom to live by. Even if it's bad, it's still good because it makes a good story. Dumbest thing you've ever bought. Haven't been there yet, man. All but smart Don't purchases. regret anything. No, it's all but smart purchases. All right. Everything in this day and age is a hashtag. What's your hashtag? I guess hashtag free. Done deal. Thanks, man. Weed yeah. show. Yeah, that's it. right. Yeah. I got Cheetos on my face. Cheetos? You been eating Cheetos?
the championship program. <laughs> Josh, Joey, Ellenson, Justin Cooper's mechanic, Hangtown. First of all, how do you, I mean, look, tomorrow, it's gonna be tough. It's a tough day. Kind of put himself in a little bit of a hole. Yeah. You guys have been working hard all year. A fantastic Supercross season. And honestly, it's still a fantastic outdoor yeah. season, no. no matter what happens tomorrow. Are you happy with your year so far? Yeah, no, I couldn't be, couldn't be upset about anything with this year. You know, one Supercross title and I've been in a hunt the whole outdoor season. So can't really ask for much more. Your rider never quit. Nope. No matter what he's been through, pushed through, you gotta be, got to be proud of the guy. Yeah, he's giving it 100% every time he's hit the track and that's all I can ask for. All right, let's ask some weird, random questions. You got any tattoos? I have one. Yeah? <laughs> you want to tell us where it is? It's not tramp stamp, is it? No. I don't know. It might be worse. It's on my finger. Oh, yeah? Let me see yeah. it. It used to be a lightsaber. Oh, okay. I'd see it. I dig a lightsaber. I'm down with that. Yeah. That's not a bad tattoo at all. Okay. When you're driving down the interstate, you're trying to make a pass in the left-hand lane, there's a car in the left-hand lane in front of you. Going the speed limit or slower, what should their punishment be? Probably more of a ticket than speeding. Okay, I think so. I didn't know if you know, like they deserve to be ran off the road kind of thing. Well, That's how I, mean, I feel. You don't want to injure them, but okay, maybe just a ticket. A little bit. All right, I take a ticket. I'm, I'm okay with that. Rocky or Rambo? Rocky. Everybody says that. Hmm. Um, you're not racing today. This is a rider. Uh, the, the, the straws. When you're at a restaurant, you got a cup. And they ask you if you want a straw. Is that for chicks? No, I use straws. Man, but I, if it's a paper straw, clearly I'm, I'm out. okay. Clearly, I'm in the wrong here, though. Plastic always, straws, I'm okay with. But okay. If it's paper, I'm out. See, ever that somebody else said paper straws. We don't have paper straws in Texas. Yeah, we have so, paper straws here. In yeah. Parts and I didn't. It's I not didn't. Even worth them. I didn't catch that the first time, but now that you said it, I forgot you guys are doing paper straws. That's dumb. You believe in aliens? I don't not believe in aliens, but I don't. I'm not sure. Not sold. Not sold. I'm All right. Not sure. Do you think we're living in a simulation, or is this all real life? Will we ever really know, though? You gotta live it as it's real life. Okay, fair enough. What's the dumbest thing you've ever bought? Mm. Dumbest thing I've ever bought? I don't even know. Can not think of anything? I don't have You're anything. You're not a big spender. Can... No, I'm all right. pretty tight. <laughs> all right, everything is a hashtag now. What's your hashtag? Living life. What do you live hashtag. by? It's honestly jelly. That's whatever Just jelly. Hashtag jelly. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it, man. Hey, All good right. luck tomorrow. Thank you. Right. Josh Breeze, Hangtown. First of all, man, how's the experience been? Oh, man, it's for sure a dream. The experience is nice, and uh, I'm stoked. It's to get this opportunity yeah it's awesome and I, i'm not going to ask you too much about that right now because i think we're going to have you on the show tuesday night so we'll break all that down then this is just some random weird questions non-motor related um if you could time travel anywhere any time frame where would you go future in the past uh i'd probably want to go into the future yeah, yeah. Any, like 10 years 50 years all, 100 all years time just so i don't know just, yeah just, yeah no maybe maybe like 20 years yeah. okay yeah so I don't know if I'll still be here 20 years. I'm getting old, man. Uh, all right, Friday night, you're chilling on the couch. Horror movie or romantic comedy? Oh. It's not just a comedy. It's, it's got to be either. Night. Yeah, so, you know, because you're a dude. A like, you're by yourself, dude. So, you have, a lot of guys oh, are scared of horrors, right? Like, oh. like Bobo said, I'm out on horror movies. But you got to pick a horror movie or a romantic comedy. Oh, what time of the year? Winter time. Winter like, time? Let's, say, let's say Thanksgiving night, you're just chilling on the couch. See? That's hard because like I like I like to get spooked out. So oh yeah. I think I go with the spooky stuff. Okay, though. horror movie. I'd like no, that. I'm... You believe in ghosts? Yes. Probably since we just had that. Uh, All yeah. right. Definitely. What's the worst trouble you've ever been in? You ever almost get arrested or anything? No. 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 All right. What's the, you're going uh, still? Dude, honestly, worst trouble. Maybe. You're too young to have gotten in much trouble. I can tell you had to think about it. From probably from my parents, from honestly, I honestly the worst thing I've been in trouble for. That's yeah. hard. Where's your mom? Is she here? Right, yeah, she's actually right here. Mom. Where's your mom right there? Mom. So I just asked him what's the most trouble he's ever been in. He's not old enough to have gotten in trouble with the law yet. So what's the most trouble he's ever been in as a kid? Maybe me too. You didn't like little. He's, 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 I have, I'm lucky. I have really good. You've never had to crack the whip. I've been. I've cracked. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You got a good story? Um. Nah. 
man. Not, you know what? Not, I mean, just maybe mess it around. Yeah. As far as a good story, like what, and what he. You never have to, you know, look at really like it. He, yeah. I, did I mean, so when bad. I was a kid, I mean, I've done some bad yeah. stuff. Yeah. But him, I. You look like you, know you could have gotten in trouble. You know what? I mean, we've we've all lived in the motorhome, all four of us together. So uh, that's we awesome. couldn't really. There was no trouble. To yeah. Be, tight knit. You know, like little too like this. Yeah. Right. Dude, so right there, that's maybe that's, if he didn't that's, get the whole shot, I'd be like, dude, I'm <laughs> with But that's a good testimony of a moto family, right? Yeah. Keep your kids out of trouble. It's all about family. Uh, I like that. No I trouble. Got though. Okay. It's probably I got and for Supercross, I got warned by the AMA for being too aggressive. That was scary. That really? Was scary. Yeah, I was like, oh geez, yeah. What did that you do? I just it didn't mean some other guy just going back and forth and you know it, it, they're you're just jumping over the ruts coming in yeah. and, and I I kind of call you know I, I was overplaying the games and I I came in really aggressive and after the race AMA was like hey you need, I was like I was scared I was oh, like, oh no but there was like hey because it's my first like one of my second races and sure was, you know hey you know it's pretty much warned me like hey this is what like that doesn't can't ride like whatever. that yeah but that was I was scared at that moment nice like, okay. Um, have you been to any concerts? Um, no. no. I, I, Are you a music I guy? Went a, I, went a, I went on a cruise and they, they had some kind of like concert thing, I guess you could call that. Not I a real to, concert. No, like yeah, that. no. All right. Um, you got a bad travel story? Like in the box van or in the motorhome, the breakdown? Oh, yeah. Uh, on our way back from Orlando Supercross, um, there, that was when all that crazy weather was happening yep. in like the southern, southern part of the States. And uh, driving was scary. We like, you know, it's ice. Everything's ice, and we're in our motorhome and uh, 18 foot trailer, 40 foot Discovery motorhome, 18 foot trailer. And uh, there was um, a, a cop car had another car, maybe assisting them because they blew off the road. And it was dark, and we're driving. It's like 20 degrees. Heater's not working in the motorhome, oh, so we have like blankets, jackets, and we're driving. We passed by them, and we had to move over into to the opposite lane to yep. give them room. And when we're slowly get back over we were on the lane that no one was driving on so it was ice and we hit some ice and we were sliding dude like we were like i thought we were gonna go off into the middle of the road but we, we my dad kind of steered everything saved it and uh that was scary and the motor or the trailer swung back and it like hit the tailpipe of our motor home. no so way it, it pretty much jackknifed yeah it was dark so we couldn't see anything yeah but uh the next morning i noticed the tailpipe was gone and the trailer came around and hit it so oh wow that was quite a scary spot, yeah, yeah you guys got lucky yeah uh okay last one let's see here you probably haven't won a ton of money i was gonna ask you what's the dumbest thing you've ever bought you got you got anything the that you dumbest bought? thing i ever bought um you, you, need to get, you need to get one of those wind bonuses to, that, to really do something yeah. dumb but i did buy I, I did buy the new airpods like yesterday or something i i had the i had the first ones they're breaking i saw the second one sitting there i was like dude they're nice i, I gotta buy them and i have them now i'm like was Why it like I should i have done that should i was that a good investment yeah. i'm like I, but i tell myself it was good but that's cool, but maybe that's like something close. All right. To it, hey, man, Josh, great talking to you. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you. All right, RJ. If you could time travel anywhere in the future, in the past, where would you go? What time frame? Uh, probably the 90s, I would say. Yeah? yeah? Just for motor reasons or just life in general? Uh, I would or? say life in general. Like, no one really cared. Like, no, no social media? Yeah, yeah, you didn't get judged. Like, kind of do what you want. Okay. Do you need, I can stop if you need something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know if you needed him. No, no, okay. No, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you believe in aliens? Oh, wow. That was a very definite no. Okay. All right. Do you think kids of in this generation have it better? You're not as old as me, but like in the 80s. Obviously, there's a lot more technology now. Maybe things are a little easier in some aspects. But then, like when I was a kid, it was just like parents just let you go play and you socialize more. What do you think? Or even when you were a kid? I, I would say no. I mean for my daughter like I'm honestly worried like how it is right now yeah like, okay like, you have so much like you're losing your freedom almost like I mean I, when I grew up I never wore a mask or never went to school and worried about you know shootings and crazy things like yeah. that like uh yeah I mean I feel like I grew up in a different world than where we're at right now absolutely agree with you good answer um have you been any, ever been to any concerts oh yeah what's your favorite concert ah oh, man so <laughs> funny story we uh Unadilla 19 I was in a mess in my kind of career thing changing teams yeah 
So after the race, we had a terrible day. My wife and I, we hopped in the car. She's pregnant. Drove straight from the race to uh, Kane Brown, Jason Aldean concert. Okay. In like Western New York. Like, yeah. There was nowhere. Cornfield. <laughs> uh, but it's funny. It's, nice. You know, like that. So, yeah, I'm not Brown. a country guy, but it's, if you go into live music, that's cool. Yeah, Just live music I mean, in general. We've gone to a couple of Jason Aldean. Yeah. Brown. We did uh, like Luke Bryan to. Then we have another Jason Aldean this, uh, next month we're going to. Wow. Okay. Big fans of Jason Aldean. Yeah, yeah. So you're not going to go with Jericho. Derek Rankin no, to, like, to see Slayer. No, no. That's, that's, that's where I'll, I'll roll with him. Uh, Rocky or Rambo? Uh, I'd say Rocky. Man, yeah, that's like four for four for Rocky. If you had to lose a, a sense, taste or smell? Dude, um, I don't have either right now. So. Oh, oh shit, let me sit no, back. No, no, I'm good now. It's, yeah, I've I know. Had it for weeks. But, yeah. Oh uh, man, I would say smell. Like, dude, not tasting. Yeah, that's pretty unanimous so far. Okay, a couple more. Uh, worst travel story? Uh, it could be like in the old days, a box van or whatever, you know, like with dad. I was, I mean, one, honestly, when I was in, like starting my career, I missed, I think it was three flights in one day. Oh, LA. crap. Yeah, yeah, Beaker, Beaks was driving me, we got caught in traffic going there, then I stayed at a hotel that night, so missed the flight. Was late getting there again, it was traffic, missed another one, so that one, yeah, that's fun. Oh, fun. man. All right, what's the dumbest thing you've ever bought? Oh man, dumbest thing. This would probably be pre-baby. Pre-baby. I would think, you know. I mean, I did buy a pretty stupid RV for <laughs> only for only a trip that we needed one for seven weeks. Oh wow, I yeah. Bought an RV for okay. It, yeah, I lost some money on that one. Yeah, so that was probably the dumbest one. All right, I appreciate it, man. Anyway.